Hello to my Gillsborough family. It's week two now of our home learning and I thought I needed to read another story. So I was going through the shelves in my son's room, bedroom, and I came across another Julia Jarman book. Have a look at this. Class three, all at sea. Now this is the next book from class two at the zoo. So I thought it'd be a great book to read this week. Now I noticed when I was looking at it, that actually my son Harry met Julia Jarman and she signed this book for him. This is for Harry, enjoy the story lad. So let's all enjoy class three, all at sea. On the day class three went to sea, they saw donkeys dancing on a key. They saw some sea lions skimming stones, but they didn't see the skull and crossbones. They heard teachers say, wear a life jacket, listen to me and stop that racket. They saw some seagulls dot dot dotting, but they didn't hear the pirate. Plotting. They saw some dolphins near the shore doing sums. Two and two make four. They saw two pelicans sniff and sneer, but they didn't see pirates getting near. They saw an octopus tied in knots and they untied him. Thanks a lot. They saw fish flying in the sky as octopus waved goodbye, goodbye, but they didn't see hairy legs board the ship. They didn't see him grab Philip. They didn't see pirate bogey nose grab Jackie, James and Jenny Rose. They didn't see pirate fish breath Frank make poor Lenny walk the plank. Or the chief called Rotten Teeth grabbed the captain whose name was Keith. See that island up ahead? Sail straight to it or class three's dead. The chief had a map with a spot marked X. Percy saw it with his specs. Class three's teacher didn't see. She was perched on a pirate's knee. Little Lenny, swimming the crawl, hailed a porpoise playing ball. Porpoise took him very fast to Octopus, who was aghast. Quick, he cried to his big brother. One good turn deserves another. But time, alas, was running out for rotten teeth, the smelly lout yelled. I'm getting very cross, as the captain stuttered. I, th th I think we're lost. Then all of a sudden, they heard a whoosh, followed by a mighty sploosh. As Octopus landed, then his brother, they grabbed one pirate, then another. You'd better let go of class three, Lenny said, as Rotten Teeth's eyes popped out of his head. Soon the trembling pirates fled the ship, all except for Pirate Pip. Miss and me, we'd like to marry. Later, said Pat and Pete and Harry, for they'd seen something by the light of the moon. 
moon. Treasure Island, not a moment too soon. And Harry spied the spot marked X. His telescope saw every speck. Sail straight onwards, Captain Keith, and try to miss that coral reef. Sailing fast, they reached their, their goal, where Class 3 dug a very deep hole. And at the bottom, yes, you guessed, they found a stuffed full treasure chest. So if ever your class goes to sea, remember what happened to Class 3. And if pirates board, don't make a fuss, just make friends with an octopus. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to make your own story, maybe class four or class five, class six, then let me know your ideas and send them to me via my email and I'll announce them in our assembly on Friday. Okay, take care. Hope you enjoyed.